Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and I am working on a journal page that's going to go in a horse-themed, horse ranch-themed journal that I'm working on. And this particular page is handmade paper, but I made it using paper sacks. Sometimes you get those paper sacks from the grocery stores. Well, I saved a few of them. They were ripped and possibly had printing on them. So what I did was I shredded it and I put it through my process of making paper and I made my own. It's a little bit thicker, almost not quite cardstock weight, but definitely thicker than text weight. And I want to add some patterning to this. And what I found was stencils are a great way to add patterns. And I've got some Distress Oxide in Blueprint Sketch and Distress Ink Walnut Stain. Probably can't see the name on there, but it's Walnut Stain. And what I've found is I like the blending with the brown and the blue. So I'm going to come in here with a little bit of the brown and give it a good swish across the page, if you will. So it is leaving a little bit of a pattern. I'll continue to do that all over. This is my newest stencil, Southwest. I decided to add it to the collection when I was talking with Norella about uh, the kit that she recently created and I thought well I want I want a, a stencil that kind of matches it my handmade paper is probably bigger than eight and a half by eleven sometimes that happens and my stencil is eight and a half by eleven trying to get this all lined up here all right, so I've got the brown added. Now I'm going to come back and add some blue. So there is that pattern all over. I want to flip this over, and I've got another stencil here. This one is from the April Stencil Club. And continue on with the blueprint sketch. I'm just going to add a little bit of this patterning on the other side of the paper. And I'll just move the stencil down. Most of my stencils, I set it up where it kind of repeats so you can move it around if you've got a larger piece of paper that you're trying to decorate. All right, so that got decorated on this side. So let me clean up a little bit. Turning it back over to the first side. Usually when I make my journal pages, I like to make them flat and then I'll go back and put them all together in my journal. So if you're looking for how this turns out in the end, keep watching. I'll have more videos coming out that will show the finished journal. So here I have a couple of images from Calico Collage. She has these corner pockets and horse tags and she also has a separate sayings file and these are little pockets that I have added some little pieces of paper I usually take a one inch strip of paper and glue it down about a half inch in and then fold that in and that allows me to be able to use the full width of our pocket let me use some a tacky glue here a lean tacky glue and fill this in just put a little bit of glue on my tabs then I want to line this up in the corner here. Press that into place. I've got Keep Calm and Love Horses in a little piece of fabric. So I'll line this up over the fabric and cut a length of it. And then I'll glue these together. The horse kit is called Bridal Farms by Calico Collage. She was asking me a little while back of some ideas for themes and I said you know I think you should do a horse farm or horse ranch and gave her some suggestions and she made this kit I really like it I think it's kind of pretty I've been adding bling to a few things so I'm going to grab some bling here let's put one right there and then we've got this journal tag and then this was just a piece of scrap paper. I made another tutorial where I had this scrap left over. And so I just applied some distress inks and I thought it would just be pretty 
to stack it in the back there so you have additional writing space. Then on this side, I've got another one of these pockets, so I'll glue it down the same way I did the first one. I added little tabs to it. Position that in the corner here. And then Norella has a file of Polaroids with horses on them. So I thought this would be pretty as a pocket. So I'll glue down two sides here. Just put a little bit of glue on there and then put it right here on top of the pocket. Let that dry for a moment. I have Rodeo of 1888, which is part of the Bridal Farms kit. And I want to trim this fabric and glue these together. We'll glue that down right here. I've got some more of this uh, rhinestones. I think I've already got one ready to go. It's a different size, so I'm just going to put one right here in the corner. And then I have a journal card that I made. This was some scrapbook paper I had left over on my desk. And then I had a book page that I stamped after I sprayed it with Tattered Angels. I stamped it with the wildflowers and then used one of Norella's images here. One of her words over the fabric. So we got a nice little journaling card right there. This journaling card comes in the Bridal Farms kit. So I thought it could go back here. And since we made this a pocket here, I've got a piece of cardstock that I've already cut to the right size. So I've got a rubber stamp. This is called Running Horse. So I've got some new rubber stamps in my shop. Running Horse is one of them. I'm using Archival Ink Jet Black. And we're going to stamp that right here. And while I have um, ink pad out, there was something I wanted to place on here. I've got the word lope. That is from the, what is it? Ride, walk, ride quartet. Walk, lope, trot, ride. So I got lope. Stamp that on a little scrap of paper. Trim that out. And I'll use some distress inks around the edge. I had misplaced my purple fabric that I wanted to use. I got a little piece of purple fabric here. And I'll glue this down on the fabric. And then I'll glue it onto this little journal card. And that'll go in here. So we get a little variety of different patterns playing there. All right, let's go to the inside. And for the inside, I've got a couple little things. This is one of the elements from the kit. And I think I want to place it right here. I don't want to make another tuck spot. We've already got one on the other side or a pocket on the other side. So we're just adding some decoration to this side of the page. And I think I want to put a little rhinestone here on the bridle halter. Okay. And I've got Let Life Surprise You. It's another rubber stamp. So I'm going to glue that together over some blue fabric here. And I want to add a word here, so I'm going to grab another scrap of paper here, and I've got the word mayor, that in there. Add some distress ink. I've got a little piece of fabric here, so I'll glue these together. It's kind of coming handy to use some of these scraps of paper that I've had on hand, or scraps of fabric, I mean, and paper. I want to put this butterfly in the corner, so I'm going to go ahead and glue it down. And I had stamped this a while back. This is my flax, and it's on some watercolor paper, so I thought I'd color it real fast. I've got some watercolor pencils here. So let me zoom in so you can see it. I've got a mix of color pencils. Some of them are Derwent color, watercolor pencils. I think this one's even like, well, that's Stedler. I think I even have some Crayolas in here, and I have some ink tints as well. You know, I just find that when they're on sale, I buy them or if somebody gives them to me, I use them. So don't get hung up on brands per se, unless you just really want to spend some good money. You can go out and buy a higher brand, but sometimes the cheap ones work just as well. So what I'm going to do is come in here and kind of do an outline around some of the flower petals, kind of come down the veins. Okay. Now that I've got that, I'm going to grab the next color blue and just kind of color in just a little bit. I'm leaving the center where I'm going to put some yellow. And I'm just coming back in with some green. 
go ahead and watercolor this in place. You'll do want to clean your brush out if you've been doing other watercoloring, but mine's filled with water, so I just use a paper towel and just kind of color in just a little bit. I'll clean my brush off. Let's do the green. Clean my brush off. I'm going to come back and do yellow in the centers. My brush off again. Put that away. All right. There is the flowers. So now I'm just going to take some Fisker scissors and then go around and fussy cut this out. All right. I got that fussy cut out. So now I'm going to use some Distress ink and go around the edges. I'll kind of touch it to the wide areas in the middle. If I wanted to be really meticulous, I'd go in and cut all that out, but I think it looks okay with just a little bit of that in there. Alright, so this piece I'm going to glue on my page here at the bottom. Make sure I don't get it in the spine, so I'll just kind of use my edge of the page to kind of show. And then we'll put Let Life Surprise You over this bottom portion, right about here. And I have uh, some more of these flat back rhinestones. This one's in a line. So I'm just going to tear a piece of that off and put it down here. So I added a little bit of bling. Smooth this all out. All right, so when you come to the journal page, this will be the first one you would come to. And you've got some journaling card and writing space. A little bit of bling. We'll flip this over and we've got another little horse. I think I got it a little turned, but that's okay. We'll put a little bit of bling on there as well. And then the stamp flower that I watercolored, let life surprise you. The butterfly is also from the bridal farms. And then flip this over. So this comes in the kit, bridal farms, as well as the rodeo and the pocket. And this was a Polaroid collection that Norella offers. This is rubber stamped. And then we have this little journal card here. It'll go in there. Well, I hope you like seeing, you know, a cute way to use some of the fussy cut elements that come in the kit, adding stencils to the background. I even added some bling and fabric. I hope you like this. If you did, give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, comment, let me know what you thought of this project. You can check the description box to get links to the digital kit as well as stencils and other tools that I use. I go live on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time or I have a live premiere that will show up so you can come definitely and hang out with us and chat while I create. All right, everybody, y'all have a fabulous day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, everybody.